Welcome one and all, and this week I'm gonna show you exactly how to release cover songs to YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, and more. And how to keep everything above board and earn some royalties in the process. The truth is that cover songs can help you reach a much wider audience than actual original material. Because if you're releasing songs that people are already aware of, they might just stumble across your version and then become a fan. And just to be extra clear of exactly what we're talking about, a cover is when you re-record a song utilizing your own vocals and sometimes your own instrumentation. So under copyright law, you can't exactly alter the underlying melody or the arrangement of the original song. Because if you then do that, it technically becomes a remix. And we've got a link down below all about releasing remixes. And watch out for future videos where I'll be touching on releasing remixes, using samples and much more. And we'll get into all of that, but make sure you get down below, comment, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And I'm going to give you a little second. But now you've done that, sit back, take note and relax. Okay, so let's start with the idea of releasing cover songs onto YouTube. And to be fair, it's straightforward. It's as simple as you can upload cover songs to YouTube anytime you want, but you just can't make money from them. You can't monetize the videos. So let's say you uploaded a cover song to YouTube. In a short time, you'll receive a notification letting you know that this song is owned by somebody else. But you won't need to panic. It just means any royalties earned from that YouTube video, that cover that you've put up, will literally go to whoever owns the copyright for that song rather than you, which is technically fair. But in return, you'll receive exposure. So the best way to kind of treat uploading covers to YouTube is like a promotional or exposure kind of tool rather than actually a way to make money but in doing so you'll get to see your name next to big artists and you'll flag up higher on the search and you'll get your music heard by a new fan base a new audience new people but things get a little bit different when it comes to releasing your music to spotify apple music tidal Deezer, or other music platforms you can earn royalties from any cover songs you release on these platforms, but you'll need to go through a distributor like Ditto Music. And in some cases, you may also need to buy a mechanical license. And we'll get into exactly how that works all in a second, but make sure you get down below and check out the 30 day free trial with Ditto Music so you'll be able to release your music, your cover songs, and you'll get to see how it actually works. Check it out and try it out. So anyway, there's a few things that you need to bear in mind when releasing your music, your cover music through Ditto. The first thing, which is a good thing, if you're releasing music through streaming platforms, you won't need to obtain a license at all. Streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music pay blanket fee agreements for licenses. So artists are free to release covers without needing to have to buy or upload the licenses themselves. And then overall, that just makes things a lot easier. And in this case, the only time that you'll need a license will be a mechanical license. And that's only if you wanna release your music to a digital download store like iTunes or Amazon specifically to download the music and not necessarily just stream the music. So to keep it simple, streaming stores, you don't need any license and download stores, you'll need a mechanical license. All right, so now you know all the rules around releasing covers. I'm gonna show you exactly how to upload them to music stores like Ditto Music and even how to obtain a mechanical license that you may need from a website like Harry Fox. Okay, what you'll need to do is to make sure you log into dittlemusic.com and if you haven't already, you can get that 30 day free trial. Check the link in the description. So we're gonna go through the process, create a new release. And this is gonna be my Drake cover, yeah? God's plan. For one, I can put cover there, but I don't really need to um, because there's another space and place where you can put it. I'm gonna create that release. You've seen me do a little bit of research, trying to work out exactly who the copyright holder is. Because it's not always the artist, and sometimes it's the label, the publisher. So I've just found the original song and kind of tried to link exactly who that's to. So it's Cash Money forward slash Drake LP6. It's important to make sure the information is correct. And where it says copyright year, you'll have to put the same year that the original song was released. So it's all right to kind of link your label or the label that you're doing it from, whether you're independent or work with an independent label or whether you're signed, just to make sure it all correlates. You'll want to link it to yourself or the artist in question. And obviously this is just a test, but you want to make sure you follow all the artwork requirements to make sure it's the right size and it can fit perfectly. You'll choose your genre, whatever it might be. You'll choose your secondary genre and you'll choose the language that it's in. So for me, English, British. 
So here's the idea of now just adding the track in question. And it's always best to upload WAV files if you can, better quality, lossless audio, and better for your listeners. You wanna check all the information here that is correct, but just double check and go inside of that. So you'll wanna choose the preview of where you wanna kinda of utilize for TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. So say we've had a listen and we wanna choose 10 seconds to 40 seconds. And it says, what version? So I'm gonna put cover because it's not the original. You don't have to do that, but it's asking what kind of mixed version is this? Is it the radio version, the cover, the remix? In this case, it's the cover. So we've already put the copyright year 2018 and the copyright holder, which is cash money forward slash Drake LP6. The same thing it says on the original song. When it comes to the ISRC code, as this is the first time this specific version of the song has been released, you can either manually put one in, one that you've created, one that you've you know put together yourself or an auto one and that way Ditto Music will do that for you. And I would probably recommend to just let Ditto Music do it if you don't already have one and more so if you don't actually understand uh, fully what the ISRC code is or what it does. So the year published we're going to go with this year because it's really we're releasing it now and when it comes to sound recording copy so this is the ver this is my version so who owns this version not necessarily the original version but this version so I could put my name I could put my label I could put something I always go by um, and it's just to identify who owns it overall you can put your full name your artist name whatever you would like and you can also add lyrics if you want to do that you add lyrics I've actually made a different video all about how to add lyrics and you can check that out down below in the description just to kind of get a better understanding but for now we're going to skip this part and you can also add other contributors other people that have helped with the cover also gives you the opportunity to add other artists artists that are featured publicly on the track too but again for now i'm gonna ignore both of these parts because this is literally just a cover of a song uh, where one artist drake has made a song and then another artist myself has basically recorded, rapped or sung the exact same lyrics over the same melody and instrumentation. So next we'll go to finish the track. And we go to finish the track, it says covers and copyright materials. If your release contains any copyrighted materials such as samples, please upload the documentation proving you own the copyright to the audio. Without the required licensing documentation, music containing copyright material may be rejected by store. So this is important because there's different things. You've got music that you've made with samples, you've got remix music and you've got covers. Only when you have remix music or samples, we will need to provide the necessary necessary materials and licensing information at this point. If it is a cover and you are releasing that cover to download stores like iTunes, you'll also need to provide the mechanical licenses at this point. But if we're just releasing this music cover to streaming stores like Apple Music and Spotify, there will be no license necessary. But just to keep it very simple, if you do want to release it to other stores like the download stores like iTunes, you would have to drag and drop or select the file from your computer and drop it here at this point. I'm gonna show you exactly how to obtain a license from a site like Harry Fox. So for example, if you wanted to release that track, that cover to all streaming platforms as well as downloading platforms, and the specific part here is the downloading platforms like iTunes, then you would need to go on something like Harry Fox. So if you use Harry Fox to kind of figure out how to do this first, at least we'll know exactly what we can do if we intend to do it this way. What you need to do is click sign up and you'll click music creator. It says create a song file account to license cover songs. So we'll register now if you haven't already. And it's about reading the T's and C's. And once you've gone through that and you've done all of that you'll accept you put all your information here and create that account so once you've created your account it says your registration is complete so you'll need to verify and then come back to this page so you've logged in and what you want to do is what you want to do all along which is to get a license and the process is simple you're basically adding a release to song file to their system the same information that you put on the ditto release builder you'll put into here and make sure it links perfectly so this is where it gets a little bit tricky so if you're trying to release uh, music physically or digitally as a download to the united states then this will work fine but if you're doing it to other countries you will have to work out where you want to release it and get the licensing specifically from those territories those countries but in this case, let's just say we're trying to release it in the United States. 
then here you would kind of click on what type of license you want. And in this case, all we'll need to worry about is the download. The streaming is already covered by Ditto Music, but the download is what we're thinking of. We're not gonna do physicals or a ringtone for a cover, but we want people to be able to download it and have access to it in those download stores. So then it says, how many total copies of the recording will you make? Again, it's digital, but it's almost like an estimation. So you could just say a thousand, just to keep it you know, varied, or maybe you keep it lower, maybe you keep it higher, but the point is the more you put, the higher the license price will be, the less you put, then the lower the license price will be at that point. So after you've found a song, you'll click add to release, and then this will pop up here, it'll say song car. It'll ask what is the play time for this new recording? So two minutes and 10 seconds, who is the artist in question, Vital, and what is the ISRC code? So the song that you've uploaded to Ditto, there'll be an ISRC code generated, you'll need to pop it here, okay? And then you'll also need to add your label, your independent label or your name where it says label. And you'll add that to the release. So then here it'll show you exactly, so the release title, the song title, how many units you plan to sell for the price that you're paying for, the song code, the artist in question, which is yourself, the play time, the royalty rate, the royalty amount, the processing fees, everything you need. And obviously you could do this to a bunch of different songs if you had loads of different covers and you wanted to get the licensing for all of them. So again, the price you can see here is a test price. But the point is this is the process and this is how you would do it. And at that point you would proceed to check out if you're happy with all the information that's there. And what it shows you now is all the information, the T's and C's, asking you to agree to the licensing terms. Everything that you'll need is implied and included in there. And this idea of going through the whole thing, accepting. After you've done that, I'll say review license information. You'll go through all your personal information there. If you wanna change or edit anything, you can. If not, you continue. It'll again show you the total to what you've agreed on. And then once you've accepted that, you press continue. Then it's just a matter of paying. Once you pay and then download the license, once you've downloaded the license, the next step is to go back to the Ditto Release Builder. And again, where it says covers and copyright materials, you'll need to upload that file at this point. So it's within the system, it's connected to your name and your release. So if there's any legal issues, you're covered, you're safe, you're fine. But like I said, if you don't want to pay that mechanical licensing fee for the rights to allow downloads of the cover and you just want to stream it, then all you need to do is continue without uploading anything and you'll go to the next page. And here you'll choose if it's been released before, you'll say no. And then you'll wanna choose the date of release in question. So let's say we chose the 31st, so it's two weeks from now. And you can add all the extra bits. And like I said, I've got a video down below it letting you know exactly how to go through the Ditto Release Builder, but I'm just kinda letting you know the key points to get a cover uploaded efficiently, correctly, in the best way. So then you would add if you want to, where you want it to release, but this has to also link with wherever you've connected the license and fees if you intend to allow it to be on the iTunes and the other kind of digital download stores. But if not, you could just choose wherever you want to as there is a flat rate fee that is already paid and agreed between the distributors and the labels for these songs to be used on streaming platforms. So if you want, you could choose all territories. And again, if you wanna register it to a chart, you can do that. But again, it would only account for streaming sales and not actual physical or digital sales. This part wouldn't matter because you're not selling the track potentially, but if you are, you can put your price. And then this is where it matters again. So just to avoid all the malarkey, choose custom stores. And that way you can kind of make sure you hit the Facebook, the Instagrams, the Apple Music, Seven Digital Trillers, Snapchats, the ones where it can only be streamed. So you could potentially choose streaming stores only and it will cover all the stores that are obviously for streaming only and it won't be any issues when it comes to licenses or mechanical licenses being uploaded or being needed for any submission or verification. So once you're happy with that, I ask you wanna upload your cover to future and upcoming stores. I would say best to choose no or upload any new stores myself so you can be specific and not void or infringe on the current license you have with the streaming stores. So we'll add to basket, confirm process and add to order and you're good to go. And that is the process of releasing covers to streaming platforms and what you'll need to do to release to download stores by obtaining a mechanical license by utilizing song file through Harry Fox. And right at the beginning, we gave you a few steps on how to upload your covers to YouTube as well. So you guys make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Get down in the comment section and let us know exactly your processes of how you make 
lightweight covers, how you release them. And if this video has helped you in any way, and if you need any further elaboration or understanding, we'll therefore get a video about remixes and samples. But also, like I said, there's loads of links down below in the description that you guys can get involved in. And from the Ditto team and myself, Powers Love, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.